Hi there, Kirk McDowell, ContributionSelling.com. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so I'm here to answer another question. Today's question is uh, how to motivate salesperson. Okay, how to motivate salesperson. All right, how to motivate a salesperson. Great. It's a great question. So I've been a sales manager uh, many times over my career. I've been a salesperson for many years over my career. And I've been a sales trainer and that kind of stuff. And so it's an interesting question. Let me get the question again. How to motivate a salesperson. Okay, cool. So, first of all, a salesperson is a person. So, let's start there, right? So, a salesperson is not some fictitious animal out in the wild. It's not some creation in a laboratory. It's an actual person trying to make a living. Uh, they've chosen sales. Um, that may tell us a little bit about them. Salespeople tend to be, this is not... This is not universal in any way, right? But tends to be uh, people with a high social IQ, um, you know, friendly, uh, creative, uh, tends to be the sort of creative, short attention span type. Now there's some obvious uh, exceptions like sales engineers and that sort of thing, but that's another animal for, that is another animal for now. Let's just talk about salespeople who are non-technical for a moment. Let's, let's call that a category. Because uh, technical brings in another personality set. Uh, so for most salespeople, they're sort of, sort of the short attention span creative types, very much like myself, high social IQ, that's me, um, can uh, connect with people well, can feel people, can maneuver through emotions and opinions and that kind of stuff, right? So that's typically what you're working with. Uh, <clears throat> with that set of traits are some common, not universal, but common pitfalls and common um, advantages, if you will, right? So the common pitfalls, wow, was that, was that a word, pitfalls? Sorry, uh, the common pitfalls are, oh, goodness, let, let's not unwind that Freudian slip. Uh, so the common pitfalls are, uh, with a short attention span creative person, are the things that you're probably already thinking about, right? Uh, attention to detail, um, repetitive, non-exciting tasks, um, you know, having to do the same thing over and over again, I just said that, but, you know, monotony, something that doesn't have a clear objective, something that doesn't have a clear big win to it. So, you know, like doing paperwork, reporting on stuff, um, daily sort of non-revenue producing responsibilities, uh, very difficult to get a salesperson to do that. It's just not in their makeup. It's like trying to teach a turtle to fly or a you know, a bird to swim or something like that. You could maybe do it, but it's not really their thing, okay? Um, uh, uh, salespeople tend to be emotional, you know, so that could be both an advantage and a disadvantage. Being emotional is kind of generally looked down on in our society, but that's not really quite appropriate, right? Uh, emotions are just like anything else. Uh, they can be wonderful and they can be detrimental. So, um, so an emotional person, right, you... That's a little bit of a different person to deal with. Someone who's highly analytical, you can kind of prove things to them and facts and figures. An emotional person knows how they feel. They, they know what they think is real and not real. And you kind of have to address that. You know, like if, uh, if, you're, if your salesperson is upset about how they were treated by an administrator, let's say. You know, hey, they're constantly disrespecting me. They're, you know, talking, talking trash about me and whatever, whatever, whatever. That salesperson is going to have a more emotional experience of that thing than you are, perhaps. If you're the CEO or something, you're probably more analytical, more, more driven, less uh, impacted by people's feelings. But the salesperson requires that connection to people to do their job well. And then on the other side, uh, they're uh, more impacted emotionally by things. So it's kind of, you give up one for the other, right? Um, now, the... Um, the uh, the advantages of that are is they can feel people, they connect people, they can give you intuitive information about a situation. You know, like some sales situations, um, you just know you're going to get the deal somehow. It's not written in the cards, but you can feel it. In some situations, everything's lined up properly, but you can feel that it's not going well. Something something's missing. So uh, an intuitive salespeople tend to be intuitive and creative and that sort of thing. So. That can be valuable if you can, you don't want to surrender to someone else's intuition, but you want to include that in your thinking. Salespeople are often kind of dialed into situations a particular way and that may be unfamiliar or seem kind of um, even nonsensical, 
to someone who's more analytical, uh, less emotive, less intuitive, less tuned in to other people, other people's feelings or emotions and stuff. Excuse me one second. <coughs> so, uh, so the reason I say all this is if you want to motivate a salesperson, it's important to understand what motivates them. Okay, so uh, every person is an individual. So that's the person part, salesperson, right? So it's a person. It's not salespeople, it's salesperson, right? And it's not sales robot, it's salesperson, right? So you're dealing with a person, so that's a clue, right? And people are motivated by exactly what they're motivated by, and they're not motivated by what they're not motivated by. And they, that might sound ridiculous, but that would have been really critical information for many, many, many situations I've either been involved in or rolled up on as a consultant or a coach, right? Which is someone deciding what motivates someone else and driving that home, right? Money is going to motivate salespeople. Absolutely. Rah, 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 rah. Well, I wasn't one of those, right? I was highly effective as a salesperson, like crazy good numbers, conversion rates, all that kind of stuff. But I actually was not motivated by money. So I'm an unusual <coughs> either I'm unusual or the paradigm is incorrect. Salespeople are motivated by money. I was motivated by respect and appreciation of my peers. I was motivated by uh, the social standing and the credibility that I got from my from the from the boss or my management, and uh, that's what motivated me. Like just the pat on the back, the good job. I wanted the money. I wanted the check because I earned it. But that's not what was motivating me. What was motivating me is, is being appreciated, being known being seen, being respected, uh, little perks, you know. You know, if you're the if you're outperforming the entire sales team with your sales, like you're the you're the person bringing in the numbers, you know, you can kind of as long as you're performing in most environments, you can kind of start to get a little freedom with your time and have some influence on how things are done because you're a major contributor and you've earned that, right? So that's what I loved. I liked working for small companies, being the being the big fish and you know, really making a difference for the business owner month in and month out. And I took really great pride in performing uh, month after month. And it was just really fun for me and I'd get pats on the back and that kind of stuff. So if I were your salesperson, you'd really want to focus on a pre, you know, respectful appreciation <coughs> for the good work that I'm doing. Like I like to do good work for people. I take pride in it. And really all I, what I most appreciate in return is just a simple appreciation. Okay. So that's me. Now that's not the next guy, right? The next guy might be money motivated, whatever, right? Some people are motivated by titles and, and so forth, right? So the, if you wanna motivate a salesperson, you have to understand they're a person. Most salespeople are on the more emotive, intuitive, social, social, creative, short attention span. Most salespeople are on that track. So you kinda of wanna look in that direction. But even that is a, uh, an overgeneralization, right? I've met salespeople who are very analytical, very unemotional, and they're really good at what they do and they found a different groove, right? That's perfect, right? There's not a way to do sales. Uh, everybody has a unique approach to some extent, and then there are some general principles and uh, you know some, some uh, values and principles that I found uh, really are very effective in sales. So how to motivate, so another way to motivate a salesperson is to create a safe environment for them. So given salespeople are emotional often, and for sure they're a person, right? People perform best when they're safe. If you notice, if you're in a group, uh, if you notice when you feel safe and supported and your back is gotten, someone's got your back, your team or an individual has your back and you feel safe and supported, you're actually emboldened to go out and be courageous in the world, right? Just notice that. <coughs> when your family life is really good, you're braver and more bold. When you're supported in your work and in your career, you're braver and more bold. When you're undermined or feel like you're undermined in your family life, you retreat out in the world. You, you, you save some energy for whatever you're dealing with at home. When you're uh, in your workplace and you don't feel uh, safe, you less bold, less less innovative, less courageous because you're holding back because you don't want to be undermined from the back, right? So, so a safe environment, right, is critical for performance. That's by by the way, management. That's not just salespeople. I'm also a management consultant. That's a little nugget of gold there. Ding ding ding. Nugget of gold alert. And then um, and then find out what's actually important to them. If someone had asked me when I was in sales, hey, what really motivates you? I would have told them. 
I appreciate being respected. I appreciate being appreciated. I had very little of that in my earlier life, and so I'm happy to perform wildly <laughs> just for the appreciation of it. And yes, I want to make the commissions too, but it's really about the about the respect for me. Okay. So, uh, but it is what it is for anybody, right? So, if you want to motivate a salesperson, you know, find out what motivates them, right? Um, you want to feel power, go out in the middle of traffic and wave in the direction of the traffic is already going. So if you want to motivate people, find out what already motivates them. If you don't know, ask them. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but oh my gosh, right? I've seen an entire set of plans and entire sales strategies created and no one ever stopped to ask the individual salespeople, hey, what would motivate you guys? You people, right? So anyway, um, create a safe, integrous environment. <clears throat> Understand and appreciate what motivates your salespeople? How do you do that? You ask them. Let them know you're committed to a really beautiful sales environment. You are looking for world-class performance, but you're taking the responsibility to create a world-class environment from which to from which to 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 have that world-class performance come from. And you're asking for help in a particular part, which is, hey, what's important to you, and what 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 motivates you to excellence? And then listen, and then write it down, and see if you can work that out. Mostly you can, okay? They want more money, great. Create an incentive package that gives them a lot of money if they really, really perform and do what you want. Great, set that up, no problem. You know, well, whatever they need, right? Okay, cool. So that's that's the, that's the basics of it. Kirk McDowell, Contribution Selling. I've got some really uh, incredible sales training available for you. Just click that uh, uh, URL, contributionselling.com. I'd love to, I'd, I'd also love to hear from you on a call. Awesome, have a great day. Continue to be the change you wish to see, give what you want to get, and I'll talk to you real soon.